The trust project that I lead is working to improve the policy and regulatory landscape in the way that facilitates aggregation across borders and expands market access opportunities. We do this through partnering with the government and export-oriented private sector entities to ensure that we streamline the SPS systems and we facilitate trade. Trade barriers, uh, they are, they are many. At the domestic level in the East African community, the major popular barriers that we have are non-tariff barriers and uh, technical barriers to trade. TRESS has been improving the plant health phytosanitary regulatory environment, working with the governments, the national plant protection organizations that are responsible for plant health, and working with the private sector horticulture apex bodies. I had the opportunity to participate in a regional plant health uh, inspectors training. I had the opportunity to participate uh, in a global gap good agricultural practices training and uh, I can remember when it started. I, I didn't have much knowledge on the SPS but uh, I can say right now I can testify I'm a good plant health expert. <laughs> what keeps me awake is uh, how do I improve? Within my position how do I improve the, the, the income of the farmers that, we, that are the backbone of this business of what culture. And the way we maintain market is through providing good quality products on the market and be competitive. Vatara <laughs> Another objective was to link these farmers to exporting companies who require certified produce. So now when exporters come and want to source products for the export market, they are able to find farmers that have been trained on good agriculture practices. The animal health uh, is paramount. You cannot trade with your neighboring countries if you cannot guarantee the health of your animals. Uganda-Tanzania border, we have a lot of foot and mouth disease that side. We had to increase on our funding for procurement of vaccines, which helps to address uh, cases of foot and mouth disease. The private sector used to treat the government with suspicion, but right now they've understood our role very perfectly. Uh, at the gate level, maybe you do an announced audit or an announced visit. They, they have no need to panic because they already have understood what the government or the regulator is coming to check. I am part of the faculty here at Lugema University. All this knowledge has been very useful. First, to give me a, a position of confidence. I have been able to extend this knowledge to the students to teach them about the food allergens, about the hazards that are found within the meat and grain sectors. I work at KEFIS uh, in the analytical chemistry and food safety laboratory. I am one of the analysts and uh, we are involved in the analysis of food products, focusing on the food that is going out of country for export purpose, and also we analyze what is consumed locally. We cover a lot of modules to do with the food safety inspection and management system. It really benefited us eh, to enhance our capacity with what we are doing in the field and even in the laboratory. You're being mentored, you're being given examples, you're being given uh, materials to go and research more. So we're able to share ideas, identify challenges people are facing. It's been a good journey.